So today guys, I bring you a short but sweet Outriders video talking about the patch that was actually supposed to arrive today, but it's been delayed. Today we get the reason behind the delay and then when the patch will actually arrive. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. So the patch we're supposed to get today was the one that actually buffed many many of the classes. It was actually one I was really looking forward to. But a tweet by People Can Fly not long ago spoke about how this patch has been delayed and the reason being is as follows. They said this on Reddit. Hi everyone, as you know we were hoping to release our latest patch today. We have however made the difficult decision to push the patch back to Thursday. We've explained this decision below. We encountered a couple of crash issues and need your help to determine the risk they may pose. During our final tests of the latest patch, our team encountered two different crash scenarios as described below. Issue 1. A rare issue that, after installing the patch, appeared to cause the game to crash on launch for a small number of testers. After a certain number of these launch crashes, the game launched without any issues and the crashes did not reappear. Issue 2. An issue that can cause the game to crash for players when returning to the lobby from a multiplayer session. Theory, the crash may only occur when one of the party members is a pyromancer and has specific skills e.g. heatwave or overheat and mods e.g. tidal wave equipped. These pyromancers always causing trouble people. Throughout our ongoing work on Outriders, we only encountered these issues for the first time when testing our latest patch. Using specific reproduction steps, we are able to trigger these crashes between 20 to 40% of the time. However, our recent community research indicates that both of these crashes may already be present in the game, but have never been formally diagnosed until now because testing didn't encounter them. If this is the case, then this patch wouldn't actually introduce any new issues and could be considered safe. So here's where we ended up today. Option A, release the patch today. Having only partial information about these encountered crashes and running the risk of introducing new issues, including crash on launches into the game for an unknown number of players. The fixes for these issues will be rolled into the next available patch once you've identified and resolved the root cause. Option B, push back the entire patch to fully understand these issues, fix them, restart the patch for a number of days and then release the patch sometime next week at the earliest. This in turn could also delay the next patch thereafter. Given the already long wait in between our last patch and this current patch, we want to avoid delays as much as possible. Option 3, delay the current patch till this Thursday to gather more information about whether these issues are already prevalent in the game and how often they may occur. The fixes for these issues will be rolled into the next available patch once we've identified and resolved the root cause. They state that they have opted for option C and we need your help to determine whether this is the best move to make. And if you want to help them out, I will link this reddit post down below where you can follow a link and give them your thoughts on it. They state what happens next. If we alongside the community are able to determine that both of these issues are already present in the game, we will go ahead and aim to release the patch this Thursday. With community data about under which uh, circumstances these issues appear, it will also be easier for us to identify and fix issues in a future patch. Risk it is possible that something within the patch has increased the frequency at which these crashes appear but this will be very difficult to determine in the time we have. If we are unable to determine that both of these crashes are already present in the game, this would indicate that one or both of them would have been introduced as part of this patch. The patch would therefore need to be reworked. We appreciate that this isn't ideal and not what you wanted to hear today. Whilst we attempt to cover every single scenario in player behaviour and setup, the complexity and game code can make this very difficult to do every single time, especially on PC, even more so under COVID working restrictions where most of us are still required to work from home. Nevertheless, we are determined to continue enhancing and improving the Outriders experience and we'll continue to keep you in the loop with the latest. We also very much appreciate all those community members who believe in what we're trying to achieve and would like to thank everyone for your continued help in making Outriders the best it can be. And there we have it guys. So yes, the patch that was supposed to come today, it seems as though it 
probably early seats coming Thursday. If not, it's going to come next week. And this is the patch, like I said. I believe it will buff many aspects of each character's class and much more. But yes, as soon as more news does drop on this patch, guys, I will have it covered right here on my channel as per usual. But yes, tell me your thoughts on this down below in that comments section. Are you a little disappointed like me? I was looking forward to this, I'm not going to lie. I was looking forward to seeing and playing some of the changes. But hey ho, it is what it is. But anyway guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.